Pastor Shug, all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I invite you all in to come praise and worship God with us. You can shout, you can jump, you can run around the church if you want to, <laughs> to get your praise on. I promise you will not leave the same way you walk in. Amen. With all of that being said, welcome to the new shining light. What is that? Amen. Let's give it up for Sister Conway. Amen. We bless God for her. Amen. Amen. We just thank God for it. Amen. It's a great day. Amen. At this time, we're going to have a uh, praise dance by our own Sister Shelby and Monica. Let's give it up for them.
mountain. My God. Anybody ever had some mountains in their life? My God. But he brought you out of them. Amen. He brought you over. Hallelujah. I don't know what your mountain is. But whatever your struggle is, he'll bring you through. If you just trust him. Amen. Put your blessed hands here. Let's give it up for them. Again, Monica. Amen. For every mountain. God is an amazing God. Amen. We just bless God. Let's give it up for those young people again. Amen. For this, I give you praise. My God. God has done so many wonderful things. Amen. We thank God for her. We welcome you. We welcome you. We thank God for you wherever you came. We bless God for you. Amen. At this time, amen, we're going to bring this powerhouse. Amen. We love, 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 love Maureen. Amen. One thing I can say, down through the years, from celebration to homegoing, she's been our person to go to. And we bless God for her. Amen. It seemed like uh, in her latter days, God is opening up more doors. Amen. That's when you know you've been sent by God when they open up more doors. Amen. So let's give it up for our very own. Let's give it up for Sister Maureen Williams. Let's give it a selection. So I got a message. Somebody said, you know, you ain't playing hooky no more. You just straight up egg wall and kill. You miss it. But I thank God for this opportunity. And uh, to the women, this is a song for you. I had blue. Is blue your color today? Well, didn't nobody, ain't nobody told me nothing. Amen. Honor to Bishop. Lady, thank you so much for having me. And I just want to encourage the hearts of the ladies today. Men, you too, but this is especially for them. We do so much. We've sacrificed all of our lives caring for others. And we need to be caring for ourselves. So I just want you to know that whatever you need, God has it. And he will give it to you right on time. Amen.
Introduction of this young lady by her own, her brother. Let's give it up for Deacon Marcus Johnson. Praise the Lord, everybody. First, give reverence to God for healing my life. Honor and respect to Bishop William, First Lady William, to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm here to do something that's really easy. Um, I've been knowing this young lady over 40 some years. Uh, I can tell you that ever since I've known her, she has always had the gift 
of us all. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I often remind her that I'm the oldest. <laughs> because if you see both of us together, you think that she's the oldest because she she she's just really uh, she's really talkative and she's really somewhat bossy. But, uh, there's no surprise to me that my sister is a minister. I, I've had the pleasure of actually watching God do a mighty work in her yeah, yeah, And I'm so proud of my sister. All right. So I would like to introduce the song and present to others, none other than my sister, Minister Kiana Williams. On the wall, and let us set up for him a bed, a table, 
a stool, a candlestick. And it shall be when he cometh to us, he shall turn in this. Uh -huh. oh, we're going to go to the 11th verse. It says, And it fell on a day that he came thither, and uh -huh. he turned into the chamber, and he lay there. And he said to Gehazi, his servant, Call this Shunammite. And when he called her, she stood before him. And he said unto him, Say unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us. That means she's been good with taking care of us. What is it that we can do for her? Whilst thou be spoken for the king or the captain of the host. And she answered, I dwell among my own people. Yeah. And he said, when there, What is there I can do for you? And Gehazi answered, He said, Verily she had no child, and her husband is old. The 16th verse said, He said, About this season, according to thy time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. She said, Nay, my lord, thou man of God, don't you lie unto the handmaid. Yes. And the woman conceived and bare a son. And at that season that Elijah had said unto her, according to the time of life. Uh -huh. And when the child was grown, it fell upon the day that he went to his father, his father to the reapers. Uh -huh. And he said unto his father, My head, my head. My and he head. said to the lad, Carry him to his mother. And when she had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on his knees till noon, and then he died. Our last verse says, And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God, and shut the door open, uh -huh. shut the door upon him, and went out. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, to the doors of his word. I'm done reading. Yes. Amen. Amen. Again, I know that this is Women's Day, and, and typically we talk about Proverbs. However, we're going to talk about, about the Shunammite woman here in 2 Kings. Uh, we're going to examine who she really was. Uh, uh, the brother right there, you blessed you with your testimony. That's how I knew God was speaking. He was right on time. However, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna discuss this lady, the Shunammite woman. Uh huh. Uh, but we are living in an hour where death and to be dead and losing power are terms that we hear quite often. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we hate to hear or experience the loss of a loved one. Uh huh. Uh, dead or dying. Uh, uh -huh. Death is a very extinct word when it comes to the dialogue of the homes of the people of color. Uh -huh. We never really want to talk about dying on, while we are yet on. living. Uh, but who really wants to think about a loved one leaving or making transition? Uh -huh. Well, death is defined as an action of dying or being killed. Uh -huh. It's the end. It's the ruin of destruction of something that is no longer alive. See, we as people, we have always believed that death is a very gloomy, dark, uh -huh, and a uh -huh. sad occasion. Uh -huh. Well, there are a few synonyms for death. You have doom, uh -huh. which means to end, yeah. to demise, hey daughter, sleep, uh, uh, dissolution, Prince and a great divide. Uh -huh. But the synonym that sticks out most to me is demise. Demise. Demise is the termination of existence, uh -huh. of operation, or of an operation. Go ahead and preach it, King. Yes. Well, the biggest operational system that we all have is our handheld device. Yes. Uh, we have a generation that we can't live without our cell phones, yes. our iPads, or our MacBooks. Yes. We hate to be made aware that our battery is getting low yes. and our phone will die.
is faith that cometh by hearing yeah. and hearing the word of God. Yeah. In Psalms 107 and 20, it said he sent his word uh -huh. and it healed them yeah. and it delivered them yeah. from every dis-ease, yeah. every dis-ease, yeah. everything that had them uneasy. His word. Daily bread. Yeah. Uh, but lack of spiritual power. 
she may have endured a divorce, uh-huh. but you're going to live through yes. this. Yes. Why? Because yes. God has much yes. more for you. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. God is saying, I made a promise to you. Am I not a man of my word?
over every promise he made towards me. He said, I'm hastening over my word, ready to perform it. But see, the thing with God is he knows when we are truly ready. Because he can't give us something prematurely because we'll mess it up. We'll blow it. And we'll totally forget all about him. Uh, but the word commonly used for wait is the Hebrew word kawa, which is K-A-W-V-A-W. Uh, 
uh, because she comes from a town of Shul, uh, one of the cities allowed to the tribe of Issachar. Uh, it's mentioned on two occasions, one time in 1 Samuel 23 and then in 2 Kings 4 and 8. Uh, Shulam is where the Philistines camped when they fought Saul, uh, the first king of Israel. Uh, Shulam in the Hebrew means a resting place. Uh, so the Shunamite woman, uh, the Bible describes her as a wealthy, well-respected, married woman from the village of Shulam. Uh, this woman, she had a kind heart. She was well put together. She was hospitable. Yeah. She had compassion. She was persistent. She loved to feed people. She was gracious. She was generous. She was respected. Yeah. Uh, she wasn't big on titles because the Bible says she was a notable woman. Uh, yeah. Which basically means she was worthy of attention or being noticed. Wow. She was remarkable. Uh -huh. uh, the Shunammite woman, she was a woman who served. Even while she was suffering, she served. Yeah. Pick up her pen right here. It don't matter what you're going through. It don't matter what situations you're going through. If God called you to serve, find yourself serving. Yeah. Uh, Matthew 23, 11 says, but he who is greatest among them shall be a servant. Yeah. Everyone is not title driven. I can serve because I know I'm doing it as unto the Lord. Yeah. It's funny she had all of this, but she wasn't complete. Uh -huh. She wasn't Don't ask me no 
question. I have no time for idle talk. Right. See, that's why you got to make sure you're connected to the right people yeah. when you're in a crisis situation. Yeah. I don't need to hear what you're going through. I need you to speak the word of God and receive from me and push me. I don't have time for the idle conversation. Yeah. So she told him, she said, drive and move forward. All right, now. She said, because uh, let me tell y'all something, y'all. We'll be challenging our lives. The devil's going to come. He's not going to stop. But it's She said, a uh, uh, prophet, well, he's seen her coming, let me slow down. He's seen her coming from afar. All right. And he sent out his servant afar. And he told her to say, go meet that lady and say unto her, is it wait? Uh, uh, she didn't get smart. She didn't get upset. Because she already knew she had a faith that God was about to do. Right, right. Even though she was dealing with the death of her son, her response was, all is wait. She said, Prophet, did I not ask you for a son? In my word, she said, Man of God, you lied. You told me that God was going to give me a son. Now, this promise that I have is dead. And see, what she did is what I like to do it's to hold people accountable. But see, we don't like accountability no more. We don't like accountability in the church. We allow these false prophets to speak on behalf of God when they don't even talk to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he didn't come up off until he saw. 
happy. That was for me. Twin, that was for me. And sometimes you gotta admit when it's for you. Yeah, yeah. She, oh my God. The Bible said that the, 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 the word of God is like a two-edged sword. It, it, it hit both ways. But when I tell you I got my whooping, sometimes you just take it and be like, I'm gonna do better. Don't talk, I'm gonna do better, I'm gonna do better. You don't ever preach again. It was meant for the speakers. It was another speaker. But God did this on purpose. That's how you know you're so special and important. And God has something to say to you. Because he switched the speakers. And what she said, I needed to hear. Let's give it up again for this woman of God. The doors of the church are open. You may come by letter. Give me what God has for me. It is for me. Come on, shout. Send to your feet all over the building. I don't care what you've been through. Today is your day. You tried all that you can try. Now God is saying, come give your life. I tell everybody, come with your habits. Come with your things that you're going through. Come on. Come on. The doors of the church are open. You just have to believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that God has raised Jesus from the dead. And the Bible says, thou shalt be saved. He's not looking for perfect people. He's the perfect God. You done tried everything else. Come on, just come. Come on. We in the 11th month. We don't know if we're going to make it to the new year. today. I would come and get my life. God has been good to you. God has done things for you. God has kept you from danger, sin, and sin. Just give him a chance. Give him a chance. Come on with your habits. Come on with your imperfections. Come on. Do we have one? Do we have one?
She brought our family, amen. Church family and flooding family. And we all see Kiki. How she has grown in the Lord. Remember when I preached a sermon at the old depot over there. And I said something. And she took heed to it. And not look at it. Amen. Believe the prophet. Yes. That's right, baby. God don't speak to the world unless he speaks to the prophet. Everything you see going on in the Middle East between Israel and the Palestinians, Jesus said, when you see soldiers around Jerusalem, that's in the word, Doc. It was prophesied years ago. Matter of fact, ain't nothing new under the sun. All this stuff going on in the world, that ain't new. The Bible said nothing new under the sun. It said in the last day, they have issues. Yes. People should fall away from the church. Yes. But guess what? They'll come back. Yes. Uh, I say he gathered his people right now. Yes. Because it won't be long. Yes. Yes. Bishop. I've been hearing that all my life. Yes. Jesus coming. Yes. He's coming now. It shows you sin or standing. You can believe he's coming. Yes. Ready or not, he's coming. Yes, sir. I come right now. Yes. Will your business be fixed? Those in TV land, will your business be fixed? God is coming. He ain't playing. Yes. If you ain't got it right, you better make it right. We're here. I tell folks I'd rather stumble in the church yeah. rather than stay at home and don't come to church at all. Yeah. Yeah. Church don't save you. Yeah. But if you say you all want to come to church. Yes. Amen. 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 Good, Kiki, you, you said a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah. A young lady. Yeah. A young lady. Let's get that glory for her. Yeah. You don't have too many young ladies like that, preaching like that, and telling like it is. Yeah. Yeah. More folks want to be popular. Yeah. Huh. Well, get popular with Jesus. Yeah. Praise God. First, uh, who we got here? We have Ramon McClendon coming as Christian Experience. Hey. 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 What church you come from, brother? You came a Christian Experience. What church you came from? I was a kid. Hello, Beaver Heights Church in Fort Leonard, Missouri. For a little wood? Yeah. No, pray well, pray God. Yeah. Long as long as yeah. In other words, you're the experience. Yeah. Yeah. You came by Christian experience. Because yeah. he'd been in church before. Yeah. If he came as a, a candidate for baptism, that means he didn't never been to a church. Yeah. Never served Christ. Yeah. There is a difference. That's folks. a different yeah. issue. Well, I'm just glad to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. New Channel Light. You know we we not missionary Baptists. Yeah. Amen. 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 You got no Jehovah Witness. <laughs> We're non-denomination. Amen. And it's it, 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 we don't go outside the book. At least I don't. <laughs> I don't know what the members doing. But I got straight within the Word of God. And if you willing to believe that you accept this church as your home church and buy by the rules and regulations of this church. Which I would teach you myself, cause you can't let everybody teach you, folks. Yeah. 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 Some folks are teaching next morning they have a church. And all my stuff that I teach comes from the Word of God. I can't save myself. And I need Jesus just like everybody else. And I'm not perfect. I'm imperfect just like everybody else. But I ain't what I used to be. That's right, man. That's right, God. And I'm not going to be what I used to be, man. I ain't going to put on no gain, no blame. What you see is what you get. Hey, man, ain't got time to play games with folks. People lie in this state. And folks are sick of phony preachers anyway. I ain't say I'm perfect. But I know better. Yes. I got no business misleading anybody. Yes. Wrong way. I got no business living another life. 
preaching you one thing and living like hell one thing. Amen. Amen. They ain't gonna do it. Amen. 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 When you see me in the street, that's where you're gonna see me here. Amen. Amen. You catch me with anybody else that my wife, you just said, I don't missionary work. <laughs> Oh, I saw the vision. You think I'm blind for a theme? You think I'm sitting there close my eyes because a good looking woman was around? Hello. Mm -mm, I got a good looking wife. Hello. Amen. 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 I ain't looking for nothing else. Don't want nothing else. Amen. Amen. Tell them you're so happy. I'm so happy for days. Amen. Praise God. This, this, this man, I want you to stand up too. Yes, sir. This man is unbelievable here. Yeah. We've been Bible class. He was asking questions there. Like, Who this guy is around here? <laughs> he wasn't even a member. Yeah. Yeah. Showing up Bible class like he was like he was already urged at the door. Yes, sir. I mean he was here. He was here. He, was. Yeah. And he said, I want to do something. I want to find something to do. Yes, sir. But when he came to Las Vegas the other week, I almost, I almost fainted. <laughs> and I can't get some folks to come to church. They know about it. But this man came. I, I thank God for his spirit. You you know when people are for real. Yeah, yeah, you do. Amen. Amen. He's so humble hearted and everything. And I thank God for it. Both of y'all got a, this is a copy. I'm going to get the rest of the people that joined church within the last 90 days. I'm going to give you a copy also because, you know, some folks need to know they do this. Yeah. What you what you expect from me and from New Shining Light, then at the same time, it's something I would expect for you. All right. All right. Amen. All right. And that's that, that's this right, right here. Most of you members already had it. You're lost. You ain't gonna get no more. <laughs> Amen. This is a new member. This is a new member. Amen. Amen. Praise God, brother. New Shining Light, who are these? All right. All right. I'm so happy for your family, man. I've been uh, I just uh, I just thank y'all because uh, uh, I I really was uh, geared the wrong way, uh, but y'all y'all showed me that uh, it's possible uh, to live the way God wants you to. Come on now. Uh, so many people like they try to make it look so perfect, it look like you can't do it. It's possible, you know. You can you can be flawed. And uh, and after forgiveness, and keep on coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I thank y'all. Just uh, give me a good example. And, uh, and uh, my family come out here. I, I really yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 All of y'all been telling me for years to come to church, yeah. and I ain't been doing it, but I'm, I'm serious now, and everything y'all <laughs> I'm not even perfect. That's right. But we share the perfect God. Perfect God. Yes. 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 People need to stop judging folks. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. And leave folks alone. Yes. Yes. Amen. We waiting yes. on you. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. It's still waiting. It's still waiting. Yes. Some of y'all cut up like a wild. Yes. But we didn't put you out of church. We love you the way you are. Yes. That means this church is church of the edge. Yes. We've been there and done that. Yes. Down the stand up. Now, boy, now she's the evangelist. Uh -huh. You'd be one of the biggest drunk in these St. Louis. Not only that, she had keys to the tab. Wow. The, the only left and left other keys she drank all she wanted. But look at her now. Wow. I'm preaching behind her right here. Yeah. Crack cocaine. Wow. Drug dealer. But look at it now. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. And God can change this man here. He's still getting high. Mm. Well, he getting high with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> he got overdose. <laughs> ah, you talking about miracles and healing. All right now. Yeah. Amen. Cancer. Yeah. Cancer, cancer. And don't nobody tell me nothing about 
what stage of cancer is, God can heal it all. Amen. I don't think you're in stage 10. Amen. Amen. I'm sure I've heard people say they in stage 4. But we got evidence here. Amen. Well, all the cancer survivors stand on your feet right now. All cancer survivors. And God here, stand on your feet if you ain't ashamed. My wife had cancer. Look around. We, 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 we ain't making this stuff up. Folks think you just make this stuff up. Tonight we're gonna have a healing night. Anytime you come in God's house, you'll all be a healer. All right, then, sir. All right. Only way I put out a certain day that the Lord tell me, tonight, my son, I want you to have this. But I believe anytime you come in God's house on holy ground, that's a different than going to your house. Amen. Pray God. I believe in miracles. Yes, sir. Because I seen the miracles. Y'all yes, hear what I say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I seen the miracles. Yes, Who is this shining light? Who is this shining light? Let's give right hand fellowship right now. So they can go to work. And God sent some me and peace in our Church right here at 740 Broadway at the Grace Singing in Venice, Illinois, where Bishop John H. and Linda Williams is our overseer. We thank you for tuning in with us. We thank our own, our own Kiana Williams, Evangelist Kiana Williams, for bringing that powerful word. But until this time next week, may the peace of God be with you until we meet again. God bless you.